Hi, this is Srinivasan, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE. In this presentation, we are going to discuss on multiplexers and demultiplexers. Multiplexer is a combinational circuit that selects binary information from one of many inputs and directs it to single output line. In other words, multiplexers are also called as many to one converters. The selection of particular input line is controlled by the set of select lines. If there are normally 2 to the power n input lines, you will have n select lines. In multiplexer is also known as data selectors. Let us go with the block diagram of a multiplexer. So it is a 2 cross 1 multiplexer, 2 inputs and 1 output. So to select among the 2 inputs, we are going for a select line S. So if S is equal to 0, Y is equal to I0. If S is equal to 1, Y is equal to I1. Next we go for a 4 to 1 multiplexer and if the number of input is 4, the number of select lines will be equal to 2. So 4 is equal to 2 to the power 2 which in turn represents the number of select lines to be 2. So we go for S1 and S0. If S1, S0 is 0, 0, Y will be equal to I0. If S1, S0 is equal to 0, 1, Y will be equal to I1. If S1, S0 is equal to 1, 0, Y will be equal to I2. If S1, S0 is equal to 1, 1, Y will be equal to I3. So how we can implement a Boolean function using a 4 class 1 multiplexer? So let us consider the function f is equal to a, b, c and the sum is equal to 1, 2, 6, 7. So they have misrepresented as a, b, c as x, y, z. So x, y, z, 3 input variables. So 4 possible combination, sorry, it's 8 possible combination, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So now we can use the input variables as select lines. So here we are going to use x and y as select lines and we are going to obtain the function f in terms of z. So if you divide this x, y okay, based on the values, you can group it as 0, 0, 0, 1 group and 1, 0 group and 1, 1. Now we are going to compare f with z and you are going to obtain function in terms of z. So z0, f0 and z1, f1. So f follows z. So f is equal to z which means i0 is equal to z. And next z is equal to 0, f is equal to 1. One is if z is equal to 1, f is equal to 0. So function is complement of the input value z. So f is equal to z dash or i1 is equal to z dash. z is equal to 0, f is equal to 0, z is equal to 1, f is equal to 0, which means irrespective of the input, the function remains as 0. So i2 is equal to 0, z is equal to 0, f is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1, f is equal to 1. Irrespective of the input, the function is equal to 1 and i3 is equal to 1. So multiplexer, 4 inputs, 2 select lines and the function output. So i0 is equal to z, i1 is equal to z dash, i2 is equal to 0 and i3 is equal to 1. And we know the select lines s1 and s0 are nothing but your x and y and we obtain the final function 1. So 4 cross 1 multiplexer, we implemented the function summation of 1, 2, 6 and 7. Similarly, we can implement a 8 cross 1 multiplexer for a function f of a comma b comma c comma d summation of 1 comma 3 comma 4 comma 11 comma 12 comma 13 comma 14 comma 15. So here the number of inputs are 8. So 2 to the power 3 is 8. So we need to have 3 select lines. Let us consider a, b and c are the 3 select lines s2, s1 and s0. Now we are going to obtain the function in terms of d. So when you compare the table, we obtain i0 is equal to d, i1 is equal to d, i2 is equal to d dash, i3 is equal to 0, i4 is equal to 0, i5 is equal to d, i6 is equal to 1, 
and i7 is equal to 1. Now the function is implemented by using a cross 1 multiplexer. S2, S1, S0 are replaced by A, B and C. 0, I0, I1 is equal to D. I2 is equal to D dash. I3 is equal to 0. I4 is equal to 0. I5 is equal to D. And I6 is equal to 1. I7 is equal to 1. So 8 inputs, 3 select lines and 1 output. Next, we will start with the demultiplexer. A demultiplexer is a combination circuit that performs the reverse operation of a multiplexer. It has single input, n select lines and maximum of 2 to the power n outputs. The input will be connected to one of these outputs based on the values of the select lines. Demultiplexer is also known as data distributor. So one too many are one inputs towards n outputs where you can be directed with the select lines S. Yes. Let us go with a simple 1 cross 2 demultiplexer. So one input, two outputs. Based on the select line, if S is equal to 0, the input D will be produced at Y0. If S is equal to 1, the input D will be produced at the output Y1. So next we go with a 1 cross 4 demultiplexer and the functional table and the logic diagram is as shown in figure. So D is the input based on S1 and S0 you will obtain Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3. If S1 and S0 is 0, 0, the input D will be obtained at the output Y0. If S1, S0 is 0, 1, the input D will be obtained at the output Y1. If S1, S0 is 1, 0, the input D will be obtained at Y2. If S1, S0 is equal to 1, 1, the input D will be obtained at Y3. So, the same way you can go with a 1 cross 8 demultiplexer. With respect to 1 cross 8 demultiplexer, you will have 3 select lines. So S2, S1 and S0. Based on the values of S2, S1 and S0, the input will be produced at Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, Y6 and Y7. If 0, 0, 0, the input D will be produced at Y0. If it is 0, 0, 1, the input D will be produced at Y1. If it is 0, 1, 0, the input D will be produced at Y2. If it is 0, 1, 1, the input D will be produced at Y3. If it is 1, 0, 0, the input D will be produced at Y4. If 1, 0, 1, the input D will be produced at Y5. If it is 1, 1, 0, the input D will be produced at Y6. And if it is 1, 1, 1, the input D will be produced at Y7. So this is the logical implementation of a 1 cross 8 demultiplexer. Thank you.